And so it's so funny to hear him say that because it, it's just like, like you feel that when it's like such a big part of your life that like you're, it doesn't stop. It just never stops. A melody that I would make to like um, put that yeah. certain siren into a music. So I think every day. But uh, right now, since we're um, since it's been so long, uh, our last album, uh, where we we will be releasing next year, our our second album. Is it done? Almost. <laughs> to, you know, record everything. It's a try. Is this the album? Uh, tell me if I get this wrong. Pag to tag. Yeah. Basically, it translates to strengthening. Strengthening. Yeah. Our, mm. our first album is Bugsy Ball. That's called uh, Sprouting. It's oh, okay. Mm. And now it's uh, an exclamation point. The first one is a question mark. And uh. then this one goes uh, exclamation point. So mm. the seed and then the strengthening of the tree. So it's called Bug Tata. I like that. Oh, that's cool. How many songs are done already? So in our first album, I think we have nine songs. And then in our first EP called... Uh, <laughs> He's not what? sure. <laughs> He's like, I don't He's know. not sure. It's nine songs, including the instrumentals. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. for this new album, are any of them done? Uh, for the last album, Pag Sibol, uh, it's six. This and the next, uh, the upcoming album is also six. Okay. So like four of them is done already. Oh cool. wow! Is this gonna be like a series? Is there gonna be more than yeah, just it, this next one? It's a trilogy, actually. Oh, cool. So, like, three EPs. <laughs> so, it's a trilogy uh, of Pagsy Ball, a, a question mark, and Pagdatag is an uh, exclamation point. The last one is Simulain Wakas. Waka, Simulain Wakas. Uh, basically, it translates to uh, start and end, which mm -hmm. is a dot. Period. I like yeah, that. A period. I cool. really like that. Are you, are you writing all these songs? Are you a co-writer on all of them? I am, I'm urging them as well. Yeah, but... so are you guys writing anything, or...? But for the past songs, I have written all of it. Yeah, most of the oh, songs. Oh, wow. But spoiled everything. Yeah, but in the future, of course, we <laughs> He will, just spoiled we will everything. Get, we will help Pablo as well. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, since uh, we have uh, our positions, everyone's, you know, doing their own thing. And that makes us the group. And totally. work together. And you get to know them, right? Yeah. So they're not not imprinted on these songs. Yes, yes. Well, yeah. When Pablo brings you guys a song, what are you all looking for? What are you all looking for? Oh, I know. What? what are we all like, the keys? We're like, what like, are you listening for? Yeah, what are you listening for? What are you looking for in a song? I would, I'm always asking Pablo about the message, like the image he imagined when writing the song. Mm -hmm. what, what do you want to convey so that because he's the creative director and mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. create something out of it? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, I think the sound and the beat of the song. Well, of course, I do the choreography. That's why I need to know what the song, you know, the beat and the sound looks it's like all so that I can already imagine or I can, you know, inside my head, I can I can already make something. Mm. And also, he always tells me he wants to be the ending of the song. He told me that well, I want to be the ending fairy. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the one who's going dang I'm just, high I'm notes. Just joking. Yeah, because uh, at that time I watch a lot of videos and there's a you know in K-pop there's a thing they called um, ending fairy where the one member he will gonna finish he will going to finish the song while doing uh, while you know looking at the camera. Huh. <laughs> you want that? Yeah, I, I I was joking that, that time. I said Pablo, can you make me the ending fairy of this song? <laughs> <laughs> and that's Mama, right? Yeah, that's Mama. <laughs> and he did. I'm the ending fairy of that song. <laughs> did you rotate this position amongst the group, or? Yeah, I I rotate it as much as possible. I because each of us have different abilities, you know, different strengths. Mm -hmm. So I try to make it as much as possible. Uh, highlight their abilities in this in that certain song. So, uh, for him. He's really uh, good at rapping as well. He, for him, he has a very low voice. Yeah. So I try to like complement everything mm. together and create a very dynamic song. You really like understand every. See, that's it. Like you understand everybody. You know their identity. You know their strengths yeah. and weaknesses, and it all like it plays a part. Yeah, it's yeah. really important. By uh, the way, you gotta listen to SB19's music all on Amazon Music. We're gonna put a link in the description below. What are you thinking? Well, it's saying that Where You At is your first English song, but isn't Bazinga in English too? Yeah, Bazinga is English too, 
but it ha the bridge part of that song is in Filipino in Tagalog. Uh. Okay. But for where you at, why at? Uh, it's full. It's all in English. Okay. Why was it time to release a full English song? Honestly, when when we when my brother and I made the beat, we felt like this should be in English. We didn't really think that. Uh, I I don't really like think uh, I will be writing an English song. I mm -hmm. will be writing in Filipino. I just uh, immediately know what what language I should use in that certain music in that certain. Beat. Huh. Wow. I like that. Was it hard to record it in English? It was it hard. Well, fairly, it's not really hard to record in English because. Um, English is you our second yes, language. Is. English is our <laughs> second language. Uh, in in the books, it's the medium that we use. Totally. So most Filipinos are, you know, familiar yeah. and or can understand or speak the English. But of course, it's always an effort to do something that you're not really used to uh, using. Since yeah, it, of course, Filipino is still the first language yeah. that we use. He's like, yeah, it's hard. What was the hardest part <laughs> yeah, about it? Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> well, I think it's, is the, it? it's the accent. That yeah, pronunciations of yeah. some yeah. stuff, like words. three, like those some words with, really with for those two. E-H and those words, like you it's have to cut the T, like, you know, get, instead of get. <laughs> and, like, I think Filipinos are really, you know, perfectionist. Totally. Because when, we, when I listen to different countries, uh, for example, Korea, they don't really, you know, like use the pronunciation of american or uh they do it in their own way yeah they do it in our own way and for example uh singapore they have singlish which is <laughs> like a localized version of english i thought they were singing but well. filipinos like we we always like is this correct is yeah. this the right pronunciation why don't we do it on our, on our own right what are you thinking How's tour been across America? Is this is this the first time you guys have been here? Yes, yes. It, it's the yes, first time. Yes. Really great. We didn't really know what to expect, but it was really overwhelming and massive for us. Uh, most of our con tours were sold out, so we were really surprised. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's so it's crazy. Very when we started the tour, because you know it's our first time in another country. Yeah. Performing, uh, we're thinking about how will the fans or how will the people receive our performances, or will it be even, you know, will they be even interested mm -hmm. in our concert? But so far, most of like it, LA is a sold out mm. concert, so really, really, really thankful and really blessed. Are you nervous? Uh, before we go on stage, of course, we're always yeah, nervous all the time. <laughs> like, what do you guys uh, do before you go on stage? Uh, we do we a pray. huddle. We okay. Pray. We pray. We do a, we do a huddle. Like, uh, basically, we try to hide each other up. Mm. It's okay to make mistakes, yeah. but don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay? It's yeah. okay to make mistakes, yeah. but don't. But not today. A lot of people today. are watching us. We're trying to make a good impression, so. I do, like that. Do good today. <laughs> it's pretty wild that you're on a tour of this magnitude. You're selling out in L.A., and then, like, just a couple years ago, you thought that your second single would be your last. Yeah. Is that wild to think about? Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, like, still what? unbelievable. When we watch our old videos, I always, you know, <clears throat> I'm always about to cry. <clears throat> like, it's something really surreal. And, like, when you really think about it, it's, it's meteoric, right? Like, how fast they went from there to sold out, you know? Like... It doesn't seem like there was really a um, and probably that's due to COVID, right? Because you have all this pent up demand of all these people that learned about you where like I feel like a lot of times when artists are getting or introduced, right? Maybe you're like an opening act for, for somebody bigger and you start making your way into the field and, you know, you do smaller concerts and then the concerts get bigger and bigger and bigger and you grow over time where for them it was just like, bam, like they're just there. And then all of a sudden with all the pent up demand between the pandemic and everything like that, they're just selling out L.A. shows and there weren't small shows so it's just like it's so it's it's i don't know I, I, it's crazy to think about that and lucas and i talk about it all the time of like you know like what would happen you know how, how you even think about it. like even just us having the studio and like where we are now compared to where we were two years ago is crazy like i couldn't imagine taking that and then like multiplying that scale by like a hundred like wow incredible yes something really unbelievable like why us why 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 are why are we here right now and when we try to look at other artists we're not like we're not the best i mean hmm. why us why are we here but 
since we're here right now we just try our best to improve and uh like cater to the fans and you know just be thankful of what we have right now and just do our best and perform have you ever have you gotten like a clear answer to that question of why you do you need to answer that question hmm. i guess the authenticity because uh, you know, i, I think he's spot on with that you love performing their authenticity I, is through the roof this platform is really really um great because uh we get to do what we love we get to enjoy what we love and at the same time inspire people and motivate people and i think um when you're doing something that you really love it translates or it transcends to them they get the message or they get motivated uh really you know it really the message really goes to them mm -hmm. like they mm -hmm. receive it really well and when we do something we always take pride in what we do because um it's been hard for us uh we just we we made it this far and everyone has been really you know everyone has been really doing their best and everyone's just trying to achieve their dreams and uh we're just thankful to all the fans who have been believing in us ever since the very beginning before hmm. seven people all out still all out seven people all out two people all out even when we performed before uh on a chinese um event, aud event audience they're not even listening <laughs> to us but still all out because mm -hmm. no matter no matter how big or small uh, the stage is you should be you should never regret what you're doing so we just mm. pour everything i love that out. well sp19 everybody you gotta listen to the music link in the description below i appreciate you all thank, thank you for you so being much. here thank and thanks so for much. sharing your honesty it means a lot yeah. Thank you so much. Dad. All the yeah. music's on Amazon Music. Click, click, click. Please, please, please. SB19, everybody. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Thank, you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That was that was really good. Um, it definitely finished off. It, it was it was really really hard at first to watch. It definitely finished off better than uh, the way that it started. You, you you could just tell like he was definitely going through some stuff. But I get it. Like you know, if you're sick and you have it scheduled, then you know you push through it and you make it you you make it work. Um, and I I think that there was just you know it, it was really really nice how much they were kind of able to open up. It was kind of funny though because I this is where um and probably because he seems to be Pablo seems to be the most polished when it comes to English. Josh also seemed though to be pretty comfortable. But like there were definitely times where like like Pablo was kind of like you know kind of talking over them or they were like talking over each other and you can tell like that those are the moments where you can tell like they're still very very much learning each other and and that's okay like that's all that's all part of that's all part of the process and it's it's just cool to see that it's cool to see that rawness and and them just be real and like him talking about. Um, uh, talking about kind of like their album concepts. And I remember um, that Justin was like, oh, I think we spoiled it. Like I, maybe they weren't supposed to talk about like what the third album concept was. Um, and that, that was supposed to be a surprise. But um, I, I just find it really, there's something really, really refreshing about them because it, it, they really feel like it was more, it's more like an independent artist that isn't necessarily being led uh, by, you know, somebody telling them exactly what to say or, or whatever it is. It's, it's, it's just, it's, I don't know. There's something really, really cool cool about that um about that with them and I'm, I'm excited to learn so much more so i hope that uh i hope that you guys are enjoying this and if you're catching this in the last part don't forget to go back and watch all the other stuff that we've done with the interviews because there's going to be multiple parts of these that are going to come out days after days but by the time that this one's out they should all be out so you can go back and watch all of them uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, and the notification bell if you already haven't. I definitely have been enjoying this journey with all of you. I enjoy reading your comments. I enjoy talking to you all on Twitter, so make sure that you're following us on there or Instagram. Uh, we do a lot of correspondence on Twitter right now. And make sure that you're following along with either our Spotify, Amazon, Apple, wherever you get your music, because our SB19 covers uh, will be out soon, and you guys can check all those out. If nobody told you that they love you today, don't forget that I love you. You're appreciated, always welcome here in this channel, and you are enough. And last but certainly not least, it was a great day to play. Thanks, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.